So let's start this meeting in about five minutes when it becomes 9.05. Just to give more time for more people to join us. Hi, Trini, can you start sharing your desktop? Can you see my screen? Yes. Let's give it four more minutes and see whether we have more people join us. Now we have nine people. I assume everyone is working from home now. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I will go to work, uh, go to my office uh, after this meeting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, y'all, it's Amy just dropping on in to be able to come see. Um, if you want to be able to send me a link to the agenda, I will add it on to the CNCF like uh, public calendar so we've got run through. Great. Sure. sure. Yeah. Um, next time, we would make sure to do that. Thank you, Amy. Oh, yeah, totally fine. I mean, just drop it to me anytime. It's fine. And thanks for joining us today. Is yeah, it, happy to. Is it a good time for you, um, you know, at this time of the day? Oh, yeah, it's fine. It's only 6 p.m. for me. I'm based on the West Coast. I'm out of um, uh, Pacific time. Okay, sure. Yeah, that's good. No big no. deal. Yeah. Yeah, I might not always be able to make it, but I'd like to be able to know when stuff is. And um, we will work on being able to put this up on our YouTube channel as well so that other people know this is happening. That's great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, happy to. So let's give it two more minutes and uh, then let's get started. Uh, okay, so today let's begin. Uh, hello everyone, uh, thanks for coming to today's meeting. Uh, this is Quinny from Pink Hub and uh, I'm also a CNCF ambassador. It's my great honor to be the monitor of this first ever Thai TV community meeting. So on the, basically for this meeting on the fourth Wednesday of every month, unless otherwise specified, the Thai TV community hosts this monthly meeting by video conference to discuss the status of Thai TV. New features will, discuss, will be discussed and everyone regard, regardless of the location and the uh, familiarity of the product is welcome to join us. And uh, the, the meeting is 
recorded and will be shared on the CNCF YouTube channel. And thanks for um, supporting us on this. Thank you. Kenny. So, yeah. So for today, I will be the uh, monitor and uh, Wen Ting Liu will be the note taker. And this meeting will be kicked off by Se Zheng Tang. And then we will move on to the, agen to the items on the agenda today. So Se Zheng, uh, could you please kick off this meeting? Thank you. OK, thank you, Kuni. And uh, hi, everyone. Uh, it's my honor to do the kickoff. And uh, my name is Sidon, and now you can see I'm the leader of TechQuery project. Uh, since TechQuery opened the source on April 40, first day, 2016, it had been widely used in production and in the world. And uh, now, as far as I know, might be hundreds of uh, business companies use TechQuery in production, and the biggest cluster maybe have already served more than four terabyte data in one cluster. <coughs> and also, thanks to CNCF for having TechQuery and the support its growth uh, as its incubating project. Hope we can graduate soon. This is our first community meeting, but still, I think this is still a game leap for the tech TV. We hope more and more people can join us in building a thriving community together. And thank you very much. That's all. Thank you, Sidon. <laughs> yeah, thanks. So uh, the next item on the agenda is an introduction. Uh, I will start with an introduction about tech TV first, and then I would invite people in the as the attendee to introduce themselves and uh, get connected with each other. And we now have uh, 11 attendees in this meeting. So, okay. So, regarding Thai TV, I think everyone in this meeting are, is very familiar. It's an open source distributed and the transactional key value database. So, basically, Thai TV and is now uh, an incubating project of the cloud. Native Computing Foundation. So this is very important to everyone of us. And so with that, uh, let's start uh, the introduction of the attendees today. So uh, would you like to start, um, Amy? Sure, I'm Amy Scavarda Perrin. I am the program manager from CNCF and I'm delighted to see you all doing this. Thank you. So the next up, uh, Calvin, would you like to introduce yourself to the, to the meeting? Yeah, sure. Uh, hello, everybody. I'm Calvin. Calvin Wen. I'm uh, also working in PinCap at uh, currently, currently as the content strategist and uh, sort of in the community manager for the TechV project. Happy to know you all. Thanks. Thank you, Calvin. Uh, next up, uh, would you like to introduce yourself, Zhenyi? I saw you, your microphone is up. Zhenyi Yan, can you hear me? Okay. So maybe uh, not ready. And uh, James, Jinpeng, could you uh, be the next up? Uh, hi, uh, I'm Jim Pong, the engineer of uh, Taikui, and I'm happy here to um, have this meeting. Yeah, um, yeah, that's all. Thank you. Okay, thanks for joining us. And uh, Wen Ting, would you like to start your brief, brief introduction? Hi, my name is Wen Ting Liu from PinCup. I'm the notes taker today and I work for the interna internationalization department. And it's very nice to um, have this meeting with all of you. Thank you. Thanks, Wen Ting. And uh, Yi Wu, uh, can you hear, hear me? And uh, would you like to start your introduction? Hi, uh, this is Yi uh, from PinCup. Uh, I'm an engineer on the uh, on Taiki. Thanks. So next on Pet Pink Cap is Yiling. 
Hi, I'm Yiling. Uh, I'm now a senior in uh, South China University of Technology, and I'm also an intern in PINCAP. Thank you, Yiling. And Yiling will do a fantastic demo today. So the next two attendees, I think they are distinguished guests in our meeting. And uh, they are Tenny, Tian Yi Zhuang, and uh, Dao Bing Li. So let's start with uh, Dao Bing. Thank you. Dao Bing, can you hear me? Hello, everyone. I'm Ni Dao Bing. Currently, I'm working for JD Cloud and AI and Cloud Provider in China. Uh, I'm the director of the past platform. Uh, the platform is a service uh, department. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Dubbing. Welcome to this meeting. Mm. So the next one, uh, Tian Yi, which uh, who is can also could be called Tenny, I guess. Could you please introduce yourself to the to the to other people? Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, uh, my name is Tian Yi Zhuang, and uh, my GitHub ID is Tian Yi Zhuang. And uh, I worked for MacV pre previously, uh, an AI technology in China. Uh, and I'm also Thai KV computer uh, in coprocessor co SIG. Uh, thank you. Thank you. So we also have other distinguished guests with us too, and they are the contributors, I guess. So um, Tony Liu. Oh, I you didn't have your microphone on. Can you uh, hear us or talk to us? Oh, one more people joined, and I see Wink is with us now. So let's start with Zi, please. So Zi, could you please introduce yourself to the meeting, to the members at this meeting? Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm Zi Yan, and I'm from Shenzhen. I'm a, a, I'm a new contributor to Thai KV. I'm, uh, I'm from the, the usability um, cat challenge program, and I become the new contributor. Um, I'm very glad to join this community, and I'm very uh, willing to learn more about the uh, distributed system and uh, 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 storage system and uh, uh, I'm a software engineer from uh, DJI uh, the drone company and that's all thanks thank you Zee. welcome to the community and the next up is Tony Tony could you uh, please introduce yourself uh, we see now you're geared up with your mic micro Tani, um, Zi He, Liu, can you hear me? Okay, um, let's move on to Wink. Wink, would you like to say hi to the meeting? Hi, everyone. Could you hear me? Yes. yes. Oh, hi, I'm Wink. Um, uh, I'm focused on the TechV community uh, and uh, the maintainer of uh, TechV. Uh, uh, and I work for PINCAP uh, uh, about three years. Uh, um, <laughs> that's all. Okay, thank you for joining us, uh, Wink. So now, uh, Tony, if you're ready to say hi, uh, we could have you on. For uh, If you're not, we can just uh, move on to the next item on the agenda. Okay, yeah. Then let's move on to the next item on the agenda. So the next one is from Calvin and uh, he will spend 10 to 15 minutes to update community governance, and there were some important announcements in his slide as well. So could you please share your screen, Kelvin? Thank you. Okay. Um, just uh, sharing my desktop. 
Okay. Yeah, I'll stop my sharing and uh, you're up. Okay. So can you see my desktop now? Yes. Okay. Okay. Hey. Okay. Hello, everybody. So, uh, uh, it's uh, my honor to be here today to bring you update to uh, some of the changes in the TechEV community. And I will share with you some of the uh, news, exciting news as well. So, firstly, uh, I I want to start with uh, some major updates on the govern governance model and the gov governance of TechEV project. Uh, uh, to start, uh, let's uh, get something, get some justification for this update. So why do we update this governance? Uh, first of all, firstly, of course, because everything is changing and uh, like uh, uh, other open source projects, uh, the Tech V project is evolving very fast towards maturity and uh, the, the community grows along the way. So, um, uh, originally we had we had a version of governance, but it's kind of too simplified in terms of the setting of community roles. Uh, for example, the, the previous version we only defined the maintainer role and uh, the, the expectations and requirements of maintainer, but not, there's nothing said about contributor. And so the, the growth path or the promotion path is, is not clear, uh, especially for new contributors, they are not clear as to what are they expected, for, uh, what are the expectations for them or how far away from the uh, maintainer role because maintainer is a very high bar to reach. Also, uh, to add to the fact uh, Tech UV is a very hardcore project. Uh, so um, uh, that's kind of uh, not clear enough and not welcoming enough to contributors. Yeah, the, the, these are some of the uh, background of the updates. Uh, so first update is the guiding pr principles. Yeah, we, we finally have them. Uh, Actually, yeah, it's just a simple document, but it's it's really important because uh, although we know clearly what we are doing and what we are going to do, uh, but we we also want it properly documented and uh, make other people in the in the community community or the ecosystem know about. Uh, our visions uh, and uh, our beliefs. And uh, uh, yeah, there's some common values in the open source projects uh, with, uh, in which I highlighted some of the point, uh, some of the points uh, that uh, I really hope to be reflected in the uh, re refactored governance. Yeah, this is the guiding principles. And uh, for the governance itself, uh, 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 a major update is uh, the community structure and the roles. Uh, as I mentioned, the original version, uh, there's only maintainers. Uh, we don't know what about other roles. And so uh, currently, um, uh, we, uh, for the TechWeb project uh, and the TechWeb community, um, we have three major groups. Um, uh, which are maintainers, uh, special interest groups, and users. Uh, uh, maintainers, of course, are the are the first and foremost contributors of the project, and uh, they are they have uh, the, a very deeper understanding of the project, and they set the directions and oversee the health development of the project. Maintainers, uh, they come from uh, committers and all, they, they can also come from user groups 
of the ecosystems, uh, which is which cannot be possible in previous version of governance because uh, uh, previously maintainers can only be achieved through you know contributions to the code base. Yeah, uh, and for uh, uh, in the middle we have this uh, special interest groups. Uh, so TechWe project are uh, are primary primarily operated in special interest groups. Uh, so uh, each uh, it it is divided into multiple uh, special uh, of six. Uh, it's divided in multiple six. Uh, uh, each of them will correspond to a TechEV module or major feature or component. Uh, each SIG is uh, organized uh, or managed by the, the uh, two to three tech leads. Uh, they are uh, initially assigned by, maintain ma by maintainers uh, upon the establishment of the SIG. And uh, within each SIG, there are four different. Uh, by the way, uh, the, the tech lead are just the manage, management role within SIG. They are not community roles. So uh, within each SIG, there are four community roles, so starting from contributor um, and go, uh, going all the way up to uh, active contributor, reviewer, and committer. And so each uh, corresponding to a clearly a set of clearly defined requirements and uh, uh, and the uh, expectations of and the privileges of, of course so 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 uh, this is uh, defined as the uh, as such so that uh, contributors they they enter as uh, they enter the community and they know clearly what are they expected for each for each level and uh, it's and also it's easier it's easier and clearer to achieve the next level. So at the bottom, uh, we have users, uh, which we didn't have in the previous uh, in the previous uh, previous previous version. So, um, um, so the users are very important group, and without users, we we do not have our goals or motivations. And users, the user group, they majorly they eventualize the, our project. They share the, their best practices, and they continuously uh, engage with the tech TV projects during the uh, adoption, and which would be very helpful to other potential users in the ecosystem. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so uh, users can also, when they get more and more involved in the project, they, they may find themselves in the path of, you know, contributor, or if they uh, contribute significantly uh, in the project, uh, they could, you know, directly uh, man, uh, be promoted to, to maintainers as well. So uh, this, uh, the merits, in this structure is that we can you know build a community that's more welcoming more belonging and more rewarding and and also this structure as i mentioned it allows uh, diversity in the governance especially in the diversity in the uh, maintainer structure okay uh, that's the structure uh, and another things we we uh, made uh, some update is uh, the decision making process now uh, um, it's uh, the, the decision making and um, is primarily done through issues and peers and it's based on consensus uh, it, specifically the lazy consensus model and also uh, we have the guiding principles and uh, CNCF code of conduct to, to direct the uh, decision making process. And uh, of course, uh, uh, in very rare cases, some uh, consensus cannot be reached. Uh, then we will resort to 
to the voting by the maintainers. This is the decision making process. And also another important uh, aspect of the governance is the proposal process. We, we, we have, uh, we have uh, this process, our, our actually is uh, called a request for comment process. Uh, along, we have, we have had this uh, actually, I think since the beginning of the TechV project, I mean, it's, uh, it's well, uh, it's a uh, and well done aspect of the community uh, to increase the visibility and uh, uh, to encourage more contributions from the uh, contributors. Anyone can compose and they can do this by they can do this by opening a PR and uh, it will be discussed and approved approved based on consensus. Of course, uh, uh, for for feature pro proposals, uh, we recommend uh, that you first bring it to the seek discussion before act the actual proposing, because that may uh, that will help save the time and uh, improve the efficiency. Also, uh, another major proposal is uh, to create create new seeks or projects. That's the similar process. Yeah. Yeah, that's major highlights uh, in the governance updates. Um, of course, it's still in iteration. We'll uh, keep on updating it as, as we practice it. And uh, so uh, if you find anything that you think is not right, or something you think could be better, let us know. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have some very great news and announcement to share with you. Yeah, uh, firstly, uh, I want to start with the security auditing. We, uh, we passed the security auditing uh, that, is conduct uh, that was conducted by a third party company and uh, sponsored by CNC. Yeah, uh, although we have been tested by by many uh, over hundreds of companies who adopted the tech EV, but we, it's very important to have this auditing. Oh, sorry. Um, and uh, we have some major release releases to be expected the 3.1 and 4.0 ga versions are to be expected expected in the following uh, one or two months yeah with a lot of cool features and uh, uh following the governance the refactored governance we have uh continuous uh, continuously uh, create new six uh, to to cover all the major components modules modules of take EV. Uh, currently we have uh, six six actually the the names are pretty self evident you can you can tell what uh, these six are about just uh, by looking at the names yeah and the more six are uh, to be created yeah and uh, also i'd like to welcome uh, the new contributors in the community in the last month i think we have Zihe and uh, Zhi uh, in in the meeting already and uh, uh, congratulations again and also we have sempras lopez and the Gvaden GD, I'm, I'm not sure whether I pronounced this right, but yeah, welcome. And next is our new committers. <coughs> they, they're very important uh, promotion because they, uh, they are promoted uh, uh, based on our new governance model. Uh, and uh, they are all in the core process seek. So uh, 
Yu Dianhui uh, is not here, but we have we have Tan Yijuan here. Congratulations again, and uh, uh, we look forward to more <laughs> contributions from you, and uh, hopefully you will enjoy in this role and uh, continuously ch challenge yourself. Do you want you do you want to say something, Tani? John? Yeah. <clears throat> Hi, Tani. Do you uh, want hello? to say something uh, about this this new role? Uh, okay. Uh, uh, why not Ye Dianhui? Uh, uh, Ye Dianhui is I, now here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I jo joined the Cochrane Data Sec and uh, submit multiple uh, PRs for uh, um, for co-processor and uh, then I uh, and uh, I joined the uh, per the performance uh, challenge program and uh, the usability pro uh, challenge program and then. Uh, and uh, the mentor is very uh, helpful, and uh, then uh, I become the commenter, and uh, it's very interesting. Mm. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. <coughs> okay, uh, <coughs> last but not least, uh, update is our new maintainer nomination. Yeah, and uh, we just uh, <coughs> uh, created this PR for nominating, uh, uh, it's the PR create, created by our maintainer, Vink, and uh, uh, to nominate Dobin Lee from JD Cloud as a take V maintainer. So uh, actually, this, uh, this also are uh, uh, something uh, that, uh, that is made possible by, by our new governance model. And, uh, uh, Dobbin has been a very significant, uh, significant member uh, of uh, JD Cloud uh, when I uh, uh, in the process of adopting um, Tech TV in their in their uh, project, and uh, uh, he has been keep uh, keeping engaged with the Tech TV project uh, by a sharing their successful adoption and uh, also uh, he contributed to uh, uh, by pr proposing uh, important feature to the techie project hi dobin and so uh, 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 of course the this pr has not been met uh, has not been merged by but uh, i think the current currently the Maintainers have, have already reached the consensus. Dobby, do you like to say something about this uh, nomination? How do you feel? <laughs> Thanks. I'm very glad to uh, hear that the that takeaway have the uh, nominated me as a maintainer. Uh, thanks, uh, very, very thanks for this. And uh, uh, currently, we adopt the takeaway as our, our core meta database of our uh, our object storage in JD Cloud and AI uh, um, comment. Uh, currently, uh, my company then changed from the JD Cloud to JD Cloud and AI after merge the AI and IoT department into the cloud department. Okay. Uh, and uh, currently, we also uh, adopt the takeaway as many others, many other middleware in in the JD Cloud and AI, uh, especially in the, the uh, some storage engine, uh, storage engine, uh, storage engine of the some middleware, and still working on this. Okay, uh, mm, uh, that's all. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. That's that's really fantastic, <clears throat> and uh, we're really looking forward to you know. Working with you as the uh, tech team maintainer. Yeah. Okay. With that, I will end my updates on the community. So, anyone has any questions? Okay. Back to you, Quinny. Yeah. Thank you, Calvin, for the community updates and uh, a lot of 
Well, welcome to the community and big congratulations to all to the new committers and new maintainer. So I see that uh, there are quite a few people joining us after the introduction and uh, Ed has broken up. Uh, are you still there, Ed? Would you like to say hi to the meeting? Okay, we missed him right there. And uh, Xiaoguang, join us as well. Would you like to say hi, Xiaoguang? Okay, I, I, I didn't expect that I would, that I would speak something here. <laughs> so, um, I'm very glad to see uh, new maintainers here and uh, I, I see a, a great uh, improvements to uh, Thai TV and uh, we are really looking forward for, for the new release and uh, we hope we can uh, do do it better and uh, make Thai TV really great. Thank you. We surely are working on that and uh, let's uh, make that happen. Thank you. So other people uh, who are joining us later, um, I, I think Xiang is there. Xiang, would you like to say hi? Okay, if not, let's move on to ginger kidney. Hello? Okay, anyone who wants to speak up, please raise your hand and let the people in the team know you. I will not just uh, call people's name now, now, now. Thanks. Okay, so let's move on to the next item on the agenda, and uh, that would be the community sharing, which will last for 15 or 20 minutes, and it's a feature demo from Yilin Chen. Yilin, could you please share your screen? Sure. Thank you. So Yilin's presentation is about the unified rate pool effect, and let's see what was in What's excited there? Thank you. We can see your screen now. And Thank you. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Yiling, and I'm now an intern in PinCap. And today, I'm going to introduce to you the new threading model in TaiKV, the unified read pool. Um, uh, in Thai TV, previously we have um, lots of thread pools for reading. Uh, as shown uh, in the slide, uh, we have two main models of reading, the coprocessor part, which mainly handles the request from TiDB, and the, and the storage mo module, which handles some um, other requests. For example, the points, uh, single point gets requests. Uh, each request has its own priority. So previously, we make a, th make a threshold for each priority. So we have, we had Thread poles uh, for reading previously, but that uh, that's a problem, and there were too many thread poles. Mm. And the problem is, uh, we want to fully utilize the resource of the computer, so the total sum of thread numbers of all these thread poles uh, are far greater than the whole uh, CPU cost, the logical cost of the computer. Then, uh, if all these thread poles are, sorry, if all these thread poles are busy, they will interfere with, it, uh, uh, with each other. So the, uh, if we have some um, big queries uh, executing in the coprocessor uh, thread poles, then some small but important queries uh, executing in the storage read pool um, will be affected. And to solve the problem, 
we introduced uh, the unified read pool to unify all these thread pools into one and handle the priorities of the uh, requests by ourselves. And it's the uh, internal structure of the thread pool. Mm, it is like uh, uh, the, the typical um, work stealing executors. Mm, maybe some um, some people who knows the, uh, the scheduling go well um, can also see it like the um, the schedule model in Go. Um, but the difference is the global queue is not just a single queue. It contains several um, queues with different priority. Um, we set three queues in the our our thread pool, and the L zero queue has the highest priority, while the L two queue has the uh, lowest priority. Um, it is just like the um, multi level feedback queue algorithm, uh, which is widely used in operating systems. But uh, here we don't do exactly the same. The, um, the priority is implemented by the, the chance, or the possibility that a task in the queue is stolen um, by, the, um, by, by each thread. So uh, we can see in the, in the left, the queue with highest priority has the highest chance to be stolen. Um, and uh, actually our goal is to guarantee most of the CPU time is used for the shorts, the, the short, the small tasks which is typically more important. So we set a goal is 80% of the CPU time should be used by the, the tasks in the L0 queue. Um, and the, if uh, it's not specified um, the tasks which uh, runs lower, uh, which, uh, which is shorter than five milliseconds but in the L0 queue. And the longer tasks, uh, if, if the task runs longer than expected, it will move to the queues which has lower priorities. Um, and we also implement a self-adaptive uh, the of the possibility of each um, each queue because we don't exactly know um, the the situation of the tasks uh, the running the the, the 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 running situation of each task of the uh, in, uh, from the queues and uh, sometimes we found the queues. Uh, the, the tasks running from uh, the tasks from the L zero Q uh, are taking more time than we expected. Uh, like th this, we found the the tasks from the L zero Q are taking more time than we expected. We will lower the we will low, low, lower the priority of the L0 queue a bit, maybe um, decrease it to 50% and increase the, um, the chance um, of the, the lower queues a bit. Uh, increase the, um, the chance of the L1 queue to maybe 40%. But uh, if we found um, maybe the tasks from the um, L2Q are taking uh, 
very long time. We will also lower the chance of the L2 Q. Then we can um, make make our goal. The 80% of CPU time is used for the L0 tasks. Um, and there is also a, uh, a problem. If a uh, task itself takes very long time, we cannot schedule it as a whole. If, uh, for example, if a task, um, usually a coprocessor task, can take um, uh, maybe one second, but if we schedule a task of one second as a whole, um, it's will have very bad effect. Um, so we must cut the task into very small pieces as the time slices in operating systems. Mm, uh, in TIKV, uh, we are using the async await feature to create um, coroutines conveniently. Then we uh, it means we can cut a big task into very small pieces and schedule them by um, small time slices. At the end of the time slice, we can yield the task and, uh, and schedule another task. Uh, then we can achieve our goal. Um, uh, that's the um, brief introduction of the design of the thread pool. Next, I will do a simple demo about the effect of it. Okay, thank you, Yiling. Uh, okay, uh, uh, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. Uh, firstly, I will show you the a typical uh, situation we, uh, some of our users will meet uh, if we are using the old threading model. Uh, let me Run, let me run the uh, Thai KV with the, with the old threading model. And <clears throat> we are simulating some um, OLTP requests by Sysbench. Here we run a uh, Sysbench to run some small requests. And we can see we have about more than 3,000 TPS and uh, can uh, see a bit about the CPU usage. The, uh, the, you can see the COP, uh, COP normal threads are the coprocessor um, read poles uh, executing the requests. And uh, now I will simulate uh, running a big query. Um, uh, maybe it's um, um, uh, like an OLAP request. Um, it is executed maybe, um, sometimes by um, a user manually. Um, now we can see from the below um, the coprocessor read poles are fully utilized and they have uh, about 100% of CPU usage. Uh, and now we can see our um, normal OLTP request and the, the TPS, QPS are affected. Uh, let me stop it. 
uh, though I stop it, um, but the the effect will not um, disappear immediately. Uh, it will still uh, run the pending commands. And now it's restores. Now I will demonstrate what uh, what it will happen if we use the new uh, the new unified Thrapple. Uh Let me uh, run a tiki B with the new Thrapple. Uh And as usual. Let me use a bench to simulate small requests and normal OLTP requests. And now it looks just like before. And when I run a big query now, uh, we can also see the CPU of the unified repo is fully utilized. We don't waste any CPU usage, but we can see the normal OLTP requests are uh, nearly not affected um, because we, mm, we set our goal uh, when the poll is fully utilized uh, about 80% of CPU time was still spent uh, on the small and important OLTP requests. And, and that's all for my demo. Thanks. Thank you, Irin. Thank you for the design, sharing the designing and the demo. It's very cool. Okay, so now can you see my and uh, so the next up on the item on the agenda is uh, introduction to the usability challenge program and uh, the GSOC project. So as for the uh, usability challenge program, we now have our contributors join us from there and um, we launched the usability challenge program together with JDB and uh, in the following less than three months. You are officially challenged and uh, you're welcome to join us in this challenge program and help improve the usability of Thai TV and its related projects. So tasks are ready, mentors are set, mentors are set, and the prizes are up for the grab. It's time to have some fun in hacking. And uh, the next one is the GSOC, the Google Summer of Code project. So we have uh, um, the students who want to Participate in the GSOC with the Thai TV project. I expected to provide their resumes and join us in the Slack channel and uh, have their and uh, have their um, introductions. So the important dates are the March 31st, um, 1800 UTC. So that's the deadline for the student application. And uh, that's uh, all we have on the agenda. Anyone has any questions or have a self introduction if you didn't have a chance to do so? If yes, please raise your hand using the, uh, the tool on the, on the Zoom application. So I don't think uh, people want to speak up. So if uh, if not, let's uh, call this, let's call it a day for today's meeting and we will send out a questionnaire and so we need to get your feedback regarding um, this meeting. How, to, how can we move this forward and uh, make this better? So 
Uh, thank you everyone for joining us today and uh, have a great one uh, for each and every one of you. And uh, please help me, help me and help the team to make this meeting more effective and uh, more useful for everyone in this meeting. Thank you for, thank, for having, thank, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see okay. you all. Yeah. See you. Bye.